Hello, this is John Canalvis from our uh, center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision uh, Amputee Surgery Center. I'm going to uh, discuss a little bit with you today our favorite subject, keratoconus, and we're going directly to see a young gentleman here. These was her, These are his pentacams uh, from yesterday, May 4th, 2022, and they have changed just a tiny little bit. He, by the way, is currently born in 92, 30 years old. And we have pentacams from um, two years ago. So the steepest part of the cornea has changed just a tad. It was 44, he's 44.6. The left eye that we see has more keratoconus, stage two of the absolute chromic. Steepest point yesterday, 47, uh, I'm sorry, 47.2 correct, from a 46.5. He is now rubbing his eyes the last two years. Has this progressed? Should we cross-link the patient? By the way, the patient is 2020 plus with, in each eye uncorrected. So this is the problem to decide. And we've talked about this and uh, the um, answer here comes from the cornea epithelial maps. And these are the maps of, from the right eye, which has the mild decurticonus on this young gentleman back uh, from last year. And this is the same map from yesterday. So we can see here the drastic improvement that the area of the cone has developed through this year. So this has normalized because he stopped rubbing his eyes or probably because a year has gone by and the cornea on its own is, is improving. Now this on, on Pentacam maps may appear a little bit steeper, but in essence, the cornea is thicker. The, Cone area is 516, it was 499. So the cornea has thickened, quote unquote, almost, uh, not almost, exactly 17 microns. The epithelium has thickened. So part of the thickening of the total cornea is epithelial, but not all of it. It's stroma as well. So we're ignoring the slight increase in topography, which is normal because as the epithelium has thickened over the cone area, it's normal for the um, uh, topographies to become a little bit steeper, but in essence, we have proof here that his keratoconus is more stable. Very, very important point. Uh, we've tried to underline it in the uh, most recent um, ACRS meeting in Washington, D.C. Same story with the worst left eye. See his left eye last year, 4, 486 minimum cornea pachymetry with the OptiView. Angioflow CT, best uh, so far in the market for epithelial mapping. We can see how this picture tells us the story of eye rubbing. We reiterated, stop rubbing your eyes, even uh, study your sleep patterns. This is him yesterday. So we can see the drastic improvement from last year to this year, and also from cornea thickness 486 to minimum now 506. So 20 microns thickening in the left eye as well. So we're seeing, and going back to the uh, topography, the topography may appear a little bit steeper, but in essence, the cornea is thicker. The epithelium shows more subtle signs of ectasia, thus the patient is better. And with this good vision, we're gonna follow him up in a year, maybe after 35 years old, maybe two years. And in essence, we're seeing how we can use epithelium maps as the ultimate uh, tool to read and um, assess uh, tomography maps by sample tomography or the pentacams and the slight steepening on on topography that does not necessarily mean that the keratoconus has gotten worse very important points hope you found them interesting this is john kenlopoulos signing off thanks